couldn't do a vegan series for Diwali without including this recipe. And if you head over to CaribbeanPod.com, you'll have seen I've shared this maybe back in 2009 and a couple times after. Different variations. We're using the chana or chickpeas from a can. And I want to show you what I did. Here you're going to see all of the skin from it. I, you know, convenience-wise, the stuff from the can, yeah, you can't beat it. I didn't grow up eating chana from a can because mommy would always soak the dry can, the dry chana or chickpeas overnight, and she would use that. So your boy was spoiled like that growing up. But all I did was, and it does take a bit of time. You would, you would see, this one here is already clean. There's an example here. You give it a little squeeze, and there goes the sort of shell, and there is the the chickpea. I might get injured. This place has it, right? And I handle benefits, so. Hmm. I best go <laughs> best go on Facebook and tell people to pray for me. I get a little a little zonk. Anyhow, that is how we would do it. And the reason for doing it like that, and you'll see I have it here. I find once you include this, if you don't take it off the chana grains, there's a word we use in Trinidad Tobago called hoxy, and which means dry and flavorless. And that is what your curry chana and aloe will have a sort of a dry and you know this skin takes on takes up a lot of the flavor and it doesn't give back anything in my humble opinion but again it's a personal choice you don't need to do that so that said let's work on the sort of curry base now have three tablespoons of curry powder here use your favorite curry powder I've got garlic yeah sliced crushed anyhow you want to do it you do your garlic and that is four cloves of garlic. I've got a small onion here. I'm just gonna hit that a little chop in there. And you know, this is one of them dishes I really look forward to, especially at Diwali time. Mommy didn't cook a lot of curry for us growing up because it wasn't it wasn't one of them <laughs> must-have things in our home. Plus, daddy didn't like it too much, so yeah. Anyhow, and char masala. Visit your local Caribbean grocery store or shop online. You need about a teaspoon of that. So as we move on, Caribbean green seasoning, a tablespoon of Caribbean green seasoning. That's just to flavor everything. I've got just some fresh ground black pepper. And what we're doing, we're making a sort of a slurry. So I'm just gonna go over here. Add water in there, so that is about three quarter cups of water. And being gentle because you know I love to make a mess. You're gonna give that a good mix. See how it's coming together there. Now, if you wanted to put some jira in there, you can do the jira or cumin. It's totally up to you. What I will put in here is I will cut up a scotch bonnet pepper and put in here because I like it spicy. You don't have to if you don't like it spicy got two tablespoons of olive oil. I like using olive oil on a medium flame in my pot here. I'm using a clay pot, which has been glazed. Totally up to you, whichever pot you use. And we're gonna give that one more mix. And you can see I added the scotch bonnet pepper in there. And I really didn't want the oil to be too hot because I didn't want that flare up coming back at me. I'm gonna rinse this out. I'm gonna put uh, two cups of water in here if it will fit. But we're gonna give that a stir. And we're going to cook that until all of that water burns off and in doing so it will intensify the flavor of the curry and we will sort of pull out all of the flavor from the different spices which makes up the curry powder. Now if you're doing this gluten free, may I suggest if you're using purchased curry powder, read the label. Sometimes there are fillers in there which could contain flour. I'm just saying, read the label. It's been a couple minutes and you can see it's got a vigorous bubble going and they're getting nice and thick. The color, the overall color is changing. The garlic and onion is starting to make its impact in there and I can smell that scotch bonnet pepper just doing wonderful things. I do hope you all are enjoying this Diwali series of all vegan slash vegetarian recipes I've been sharing. I've got a couple more. I wish I had started earlier because my repertoire is deep. I have a lot of these recipes to share with you all, which I've already shared, like all of these I've already shared, but I just thought I'd bring it back to the forefront. So if you head over to CaribbeanPod.com, you will see an assortment of recipes if you are vegan. 
you can, you know, give your hand a try. Try a thing. I remember, as, as this cooks down there, I remember years ago, I had shared this very same recipe. Um, <laughs> and I had a comment from a lady saying that it is the most basic recipe for vegans she's ever come across. And I should be ashamed because I, I call myself a chef and just about everybody and the granny shares this recipe. While <clears throat> there were so many things I could have told that lady, I just asked her to visit my website where there was already about 850 recipes posted to see if I know what I'm talking about. You know, proof is in the pudding as they say. Um, it's funny how she would, country, would, would try to find fault in what I'm doing. I just hope that she went back and told her friend, a fellow YouTuber, who sent her to purposely rile me up. But Uncle Chris, don't get riled up. No, sir. No, no, no. This is not about anything else than sharing what I love with the community I have built. Irie? So anyhow, we've got to let that go for a couple more minutes. So send us the oils that we started with. That is an indicator that we're almost there. Just want to go a little bit darker. And that is when we're going to add our peeled and cubed potato. You need three large potatoes if I didn't mention that already. You notice it's nice and thick. We have separation when we stir the pot there. So I'm just going to hit that one final stir. And this is when we're going to introduce the potato. Which has been peeled, washed, cubed. And I have it in big pieces. You can cut back on the size of it because what I am going to do is allow this to cook and in doing so I can add quite a bit of water which would then become the sort of sauce or gravy for the china and aloo later on you notice how it took on that lovely color now I'm going to add the chickpeas to there if you're using pre-soaked um, dried chickpeas, it will take a bit longer to cook, yeah? I'm just letting you all know. Hit that another quick stir. I'm gonna let that sort of fry down for a couple minutes, and then we're gonna add the water to cover it, to braise it, to make sure the potato is cooked all the way through. I have a couple other ingredients I want to add in here, but let's just let that sizzle for a couple minutes. Time for salt. And later on you can salt it just a little bit more. Be mindful that if you're using canned chickpeas or chana as I did, it will have a bit of a sodium element in it. But remember, I also rinsed it out. The same bowl where we mixed the curry slurry. I added some water in there and I want to add a bit more water just to top it up. Like so. We're going to give that a stir. And I'm going to add some dried or dehydrated curry leaves that I processed a while ago just for occasions like this. Hit that to stir, that curry leaf is gonna add a wonderful, you know, the flavor isn't as pronounced as most people make it out to be, but it still does just add that little je ne sais quoi to everything. We're gonna bring that up to a bowl, we're gonna reduce it to a rolling bowl and let that cook until the potato is cooked all the way through. The chickpeas or chana is gonna suck in all of that curry goodness in there. And yeah, yeah, it's that simple. You know what I mean? It's, it doesn't have to be hard, but you, you know you're eating good, this Diwali. It's been going for 20 minutes and you can see the water has reduced. The potato is starting to get tender. And this is why I like the big pieces of potato because Pretty soon, once this is fully cooked all the way through, what, what I mean by that is once the potato is fully cooked, I'm going to use the back of this spoon here. I'm going to crush some of the chana and some of the potato against the walls of the pot. And in doing so, it's going to thicken. You know, you're looking at this, you're like, Chris, you're making curry chana soup. Absolutely not. Have faith, Padawan. Have faith. Uncle Chris, come in. These crickets out here, tell you, boy. I know. Anyhow. You notice the bubble, huh? Let it go for about five more minutes. Then we're gonna wrap things up. It's been about 25 minutes in total. You notice the lovely color. Well, the lighting will make it look rather light, yeah? Because I have two powerful lights facing down onto the stove here. But what I'm gonna do, as I said before, is to, I ain't trying to burn my hand. I'm gonna grab some of the potato, crush it on the side, some of the, China as well. Now keep in mind this is a clay pot so it will thicken up further. 
with the residual heat in the pot. <laughs> Sup soldiers? Listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I'm mean, trying to tell people the email address, then butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irie, Irie. The last thing I like to do, I've got some coriander that I chopped up. Some of you call it cilantro. If you're not into that stuff, you have shadow benny, rocky shadow benny. If you don't like either of those and you want to put some parsley in there, yo, wait a minute, a little extra dose now, man. By all means, rock the parsley as well, a little greenery. Notice how I brighten it up and making it look nice and thing and thing. Just look at that now. Chana and aloo, one of the most iconic, in my humble opinion, vegan dish you can ever bless your mouth with. I do hope you all get an opportunity to give this one a try. Yo, let me turn on the stove before I end up with dry no gravy kind of thing, yes? I do hope you all get an opportunity to give this one a try. Left hand, that's how do you guys make out, oh boy? I can't even stir a pot with my left hand. Just look at that. The entire series on Diwali will be linked at the end of this video and you can head over to youtube.com slash caribbean pot and you will get all of that niceness there. Yeah?